One of the most challenging parts of the experiment is actually building the launcher so it can launch in just hypothetical space. Yeah, we need a baby pipe. It's just like a puzzle. Build the rocket like it's a puzzle. It really doesn't matter if it goes up or not because all engineers make mistakes. This contains all the air. You step on this, it pushes all the air through the tubes. This is the end where all the air, it gets shot up into the rocket so it can be like. It needs a lot of pressure because the atmosphere is really strong to hold everything down. It's like gravity and force having a tug of war. Aerospace engineers, they designed the rocket so that when they shoot it up into space, hopefully nothing bad goes wrong. They think of every single way that it can possibly go wrong, which definitely me. I think too hard about what's going on. What if it doesn't go high enough? Or the rocket part that shoots it up into the sky might come off too early, and then they would fall down because of gravity. What if something hits it? I tried to launch a rocket up into space. Next thing I knew, it hit me in my face. Yeah, you're up next. <laughs> doesn't matter, you can go up to space if you want, and you can follow your dreams. This is the rock. We have a thunderstorm moving in. It's moving in from the east. Give it about 60 minutes with an expected clear time at 1940 Zulu. So our range status will be proceeding with exceptions due to a loss of range and user mandatory. Launching a rocket is a very different type of feeling. Your adrenaline is rushing the entire time. There's a loss of our upper level wind and atmospheric data being pumped to MSC. Let's go copy, stand by. Rock copy, stand by. Sometimes it's intense, depending on what's going on at the time, but we all know that we have one collective mission and we must work together to get this completed. Attention please, we have resumed the range count on the op number 0218. Rock, this is the MIFCO, MIFCO Green. Rock copies, MIFCO Green, range is green. As a child, I always dreamed of going into aerospace. I just thought I would wake up one day and I'll have on a spacesuit and do the things that I wanted to do. I really enjoyed science when I was at school, but then I felt like I could never do well in it. Sometimes I felt like I was gonna give up on it, but the teachers pushed me, they pushed me so hard, and they made sure that I didn't give up on anything that I put my mind to. That situation definitely taught me a lot about perseverance. It's very exciting to work here in this field. I'm a part of a very small percentage of people that get to be up close and personal with the rocket on a day-to-day -day basis. It's something that I want to always continue to work for, continue out the space mission and legacies, and continue out something that so many people thought was impossible to do. T minus 15 seconds, stand by for terminal count. Six, five, four, three, two, one.